여러분 안녕하십니까 니콜라스입니다 and welcome to the Internet Explorer is dead party A 27 years old Internet Explorer is finally retiring and its final resting place can be found here in South Korea As it says on the gravestone made by a South Korean developer Internet Explorer will be remembered by the best tool to download other browsers to celebrate the retirement of Internet Explorer, on today's video we are going to take a look at some browsers that are not Internet Explorer and that many of you might have not heard of until today. We're going to look at browsers made only for gamers or only for web developers, browsers focused only on productivity and even browsers without tabs. Opera GX is a browser made for gamers and it's one of the coolest looking browsers I have ever tried. It has tons of features built around gaming. It comes with something called the GX Corner, which is a tab where we can find free games, games on sale, a game release calendar, gaming news, and new game trailers. It lets us limit how much bandwidth, CPU, and RAM the browser can use. It has Twitch and Discord integrated on the sidebar, as well as Telegram, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger. It also has a player tab to connect to Apple Music, Spotify, and YouTube Music as well. It comes with something called pin boards where we can save, organize, and share links from all around the web. The colors can be customized. It has very cool looking things and we can even add sound effects when we type on the keyboard or when our mouse is on top of a button or when we click something. And it comes with a VPN and an ad blocker included. And because it's based on Chromium, you can install any Chrome extension like you normally would. LT Browser is a browser I did not know I needed until I tried it out. It's a browser specifically made to build, debug, and test mobile websites. It allows us to test our website in a variety of devices with different screen sizes, from phones to tablets, laptops, and desktops. We can test in two devices at the same time, we can add our own devices, and we can also record a video of the testing session if we need to. When testing in two devices, the interactions are synchronized, which makes testing so much easier. It can also simulate slow connections, so we can see how our website will load in a phone with bad internet, and it also generates lighthouse performance reports. It also allows us to take and edit screenshots of bugs on our website to share them with our team. Before we keep going, I want to remind you that if you want to learn to code and you want to do it for free with me and in Hangul Go, then please click the link below. There you will find free courses on many, many things from JavaScript to React, React Native, Go, Python, Redux, GraphQL, many, many things for free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. Firefox Developer Edition is also a browser targeted towards developers. It has the best debugger for CSS Grid I have ever seen. It's absolutely fantastic. It's great. It also has a killer font panel that I'm sure many of us have needed before. And a very nice CSS debugger for inactive CSS code that explains why the CSS is not being applied to an element. It also comes with a world-class JavaScript debugger that I think deserves its own video. Sidekick and Sigma OS are two browsers that focus on productivity. Sidekick allows us to install the work apps that we use the most in our sidebar. We can also be logged in multiple accounts of the same website at the same time. We can use their beautiful search bar to search across apps, tabs, and our browsing history. And something that I think is pretty cool is that it allows us to organize our tabs in sessions. So we can have a group of tabs that we open when it's work time other group when we do shopping, and other one when we want to have fun and we want to kill some time. Sigma OS is very similar to Sidekick. It has a very nice search bar and it allows you to organize your tabs in workspaces. It syncs across multiple devices, it also supports split screen, and it has a very cool keyboard shortcuts for even more productivity. 
Stack is a very ambitious browser. They have a team of 13 people working there and they raised more than $2 million. Stack does not have tabs. Instead, websites are open next to each other in cards. You can make groups of cards for different moments in your day. For work, you can create a stack that has your email, your calendar and Slack next to each other. Or for study, you can create a stack that has YouTube and Notion together. All these browsers, Sidekick, Sigma OS, and Stack have something in common, and that is that they are free up to a point. If you want to have more workspaces or sync across devices or add more apps to your sidebar, you're going to have to pay around $8 per month. But now there's something I would like to know, and that is from today's video, which browser piqued your interest the most? Which one are you going to download? Which one are you going to test? And also, would you pay for a browser? Because we are used to using browsers for free. Brave browser, Google Chrome, Neighbor Whale, but maybe we should pay for a browser because if we don't pay for something with money, we're paying for something with our data. So let me know what do you think in the comments. For me, personally, I really like the LT browser. I have been using it for a while and it's great to test browsers in every mobile device. It's just amazing. And also the Opera gaming one. It looks super, super sweet. Let me know the answers to these questions in the comments. I'm going to be looking at them right now. Thank you as always for watching. If you like this channel, if you want to support the content, please leave a like and subscribe. It's two links. It's for free for you, but it helps us a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Stay free. Stay happy. Eat kimchi. Kamsamnida. Sanangheyo. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.